Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course on matrix computation and its application. So now we will continue with that previous problem that in the we started in the previous lecture that how we can write a matrix corresponding to the linear transformation related to the new basis. So we will continue with that. So in the previous lecture we have showed that how we can write the the matrix corresponding to the linear transformation that is given to me in terms of standard basis and in terms of the new basis. Now, so basically what we are uh, doing here that suppose I have a this is my vector space u and this is my vector space v. Now here for a given x, I am taking the linear transformation t and this vector in the v that is my t x. Now from here, I am able to write the matrix of for t corresponding to standard basis and this is equal to my a x. So this way we can write directly from here and this is what we have done here with this a. Now, what we have done? The same vector I am taking. Now, I am writing this vector as a new coordinate of this vector with respect to the basis B1. So, the same element, but I am writing a new vector, uh, new coordinates of this vector x with respect to the basis B1. So, basically here it is equal to x and not equal to x the new x it is coming. So, whatever the coordinates will come from here I am going to get T x that is in the V. So, I am writing the coordinates of this with respect to basis B2 and then we know that we are able to write the matrix. So, this matrix is my C matrix. So, this will be equal to C and X of B1. It means that you take any transformation, any matrix this transformation linear transformation t it is mapping the same element into the same element. The image of x will be t x does not matter which basis I am taking because every time I am representing the same vector x with a q with a new coordinate vector and here the same thing is happening. So, this is the relation between that how the matrix will change with respect to the new basis. So, let us uh, verify this one. Now, this is my matrix C and this is the corresponding matrix. So, let us take this one. Now, for the continuing with the previous example. So, from here I get my matrix A. So, this matrix A was 1 to 1. Okay, so, 1 to 1 minus 1 3 1 and 1 minus half and minus 2 and I got matrix C <coughs> that is 2 0 1 6 minus 3 by 2 and 11 by 2 6 minus 3 by 2 11 by 2 and 0 minus 1 by 4 and minus 5 by 4. So, this is my new matrix corresponding to the 
new basis. So, this is I can write as a T with basis B1, B2. Now, so I want to check that. So, let I take take a vector. So, I take a vector x as suppose I take it 1, 1, 1. So, just take a simple vector 1, 1, 1. Now, I want to find its image. So, T x I want to find that is I want to find what is the T 1, 1 and this will be definitely I know that this will be equal to A into 1, 1, 1 vector and if I have this value. So, it is 1, 2, 1 minus 1, 3, 1, 1 minus half minus 2, 1, 1, 1. So, from here it is 1 minus 1 and it will be 1 here. So, 2 plus 3, 5 minus half it will be 9 by 2 and it is 1 plus 1, 2 minus 2. So, it will be 0. So, this is the image of this vector x. So, that is the image. So, this is the image and this is basically equal to T x that I have taken from here. So, this is my a and this is my x. So, I have got this value. Now, I want to check that whether I am going to get this value with respect to the new basis also or not. So, this one what we need to do is that I have to verify this relation. So, what I am going to do is the same x I am taking now and I am writing in the basis B 1. Now, if you see from here the basis B 1 is again we have taken just for the simplicity we have taken as a standard basis. So, I think it is not going to change anything here. So, the coordinates will be same 1 1 1 no problem. So, this is I have taken now. Now, from here, so this is the value the T B 1 I have taken. Now, I want to find the value corresponding to this. So, I want to find the left hand side this one. Now, T x with respect to B 2. Now, T x was what? T x is this one. So, I want to write the coordinates of this vector, coordinate of this vector with respect to the basis B 2. So, how we can find? So, let us suppose it is equal to A B C. Now, from this one and B 2 is the matrix. So, this one I can write from here that my matrix C is this one. So, it should be equal to matrix C and then the vector A B C that should be equal to 1 9 by 2 0. So, it should be 1 9 by 2 0. So, I can take the linear combination of these uh, vectors and I know that C is a 3 by 3 matrix which is invertible. So, from here I can find the value of A B C and this will be equal to C inverse and 1 9 by 2 0. So, this one we can write and if we uh, solve this one, so that we can solve easily, we will get that the A is coming 8, B is coming minus 7 by 4 and C is coming 21 by 4. So, this value is coming. So, now from here I can say that the coordinates of T x. So, T x 
the coordinate with respect to B2 that is the coordinate of 1 9 by 2 0. So, this is the my vector. So, it is a column vector basically. So, I can write as a transpose with respect to B2 is 8 minus 7 by 4 and 21 by 4. So, this value is there we are able to get. Now, I want to verify that whether the same value is coming for C into x B1. Now, I want to find what will happen C into x B1 because x B1 is the coordinate of the same x with respect to B1. So, x B1 is 1 1 1 no problem. So, now from here I can write my this is C just a minute. I just want to check the matrix made up of no no this is B basically. So, I have to just write here changing the so C is this one and B is this one. So, B is basically made up of the basis and that was my 1 1 0 1 2 3 and minus 1 0 1. So, this is my basis matrix. So, basically we are not writing here C it is B basis matrix it is B that we have taken. So, B is the basis that is basically made up of B 2. So, this is a made up of B 2 as we have already seen that I have taken the basis B 2 and from the B 2 I made this matrix this B. So, this is the B I am taking and based on this B we are able to write this form and from here it is my B inverse and that gives the value. Now, I want to find out this. So, C is basically this is 2 0 1 6 minus 3 by 2 11 by 2 11 by 2 and 0 minus 1 by 4 minus 5 by 4 and this value we have we are taking. So, it is 1 1 1 1 1 1. Now, from here if you see I will multiply this. So, it will be 8 and then minus 3 by 2 minus 1 by 4 and this is 1 plus 11 by 2 minus 5 by 4. So, if I calculate this it is 8. So, it is minus 3 by 2. So, minus 6 by 4. So, minus 6 and minus 1 minus 7. So, minus 7 by 4 and this is 11 plus 2 13 by 2. So, 26 by 4 minus 5. So, it will be 21 by 4. So, you can see from here that this vector and this vector. So, this and this are same. So, from here this is verified that the same x is going to the image T x. Now, in the new basis we are writing the same vector x with the new basis and the image also we are writing with the new basis and that is also equal to this one. So, that makes the verification for this one. So, this is the way we are uh, writing the same linear transformation with respect to the new basis. So, let us take one other example that how we can define this example. So, let us take one I have a linear transformation T from 
set of polynomial of degree less than or equal to 3 to the set of polynomial of degree less than or equal to 2. So, where P 3 is set of all polynomials of degree less than or equal to 3 and P 2 also. Now, from here I define the linear transformation T from alpha 0 plus alpha 1 x plus alpha 2 x square plus alpha 3 x cube and that is equal to we are defining as alpha 3 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3 x plus alpha 0 plus alpha 1 x square. So, this is the image we are defining T from P 3 to P 2. Now, based on this one, I want to write. So, the question is find the transformation matrix of T relative to the basis. So, this is the basis we are going to take. So, we are defining the basis B 1 that is we are taking 1 x minus 1 x minus 1 square and x minus 1 cube. So, this is the basis B 1 and B 2 we are taking standard basis 1 x x square. So, this is my uh, linear transformation. Now, if somebody ask me that what will be the the matrix corresponded to the standard basis. So, we know that. So, now we let us do directly from here. So, solution. So, we know that the linear transformation is completely determined by the image on the basis of P 3. So, we want to find out what will be the T of 1. So, T of 1 means if you see from here it means that alpha 0 is 1 and all other terms are 0. So, if you see from here this will be 0, this will be 0 only x square will come. So, its image is basically x square T of x minus 1. So, if you take from here x minus 1. So, it alpha 1 is 1 and alpha 0 is 0. So, x minus 1 implies that alpha 1 is 1 and alpha 0 is minus 1 and all other terms alpha 2 is 0 and alpha 3 is 0. So, this all will be 0 only 1 minus 1. So, that will be 0. So, it will be 0 in this case. T of x minus 1 square. So, T of x square plus 1 minus 2 x. So, this is what we want to find out. So, from here I have my alpha 2 is 1, alpha 0 is 1, alpha 1 is minus 2 and alpha 3 is 0. So, if I substitute here alpha 3 is 0, alpha 2 is so, now from here that value is going to be x square minus x because x square will come from here and x will come from here alpha 2 is 1 it is minus plus. 
So, it is minus x square plus x. Now, the same t of x minus 1 q. So, this will be equal to, so it will be x cube minus 3 x square plus 3 x minus 1. Now, from here you can say that alpha 0 is minus 1, alpha 1 is 3, alpha 2 is minus 3 and alpha 3 is 1. And if you put the the sign here, so it is equal to x 3 is 1 plus then x 2 plus x 3. So, x 2 plus x 3, so it will be minus 2 x and then x 0 plus x 1, alpha 0 plus alpha 1. So, it is 3 minus 1 plus 2, so 2 x square. So, that will be equal to 1 minus 2 x plus 2 x square. So, that is the image. Now, from here we can write. Now, this is my standard basis basically. So, from here I can write this as 0 1 plus 0 x plus 0 into 1 into x square. So, from here if you see my matrix I can write my matrix A that will be, so it will be T of 1 with respect to basis B 2, T of x minus 1 the coordinates of this one with respect to basis B 2, coordinates of T of x minus 1 square with respect to B 2 and coordinate of x minus 1 cube with respect to b 2. So, this is I want to write and that will be equal to 0 0 1 0 0 0 and then we have now it is 0 1 minus 1 and this is 1 minus 2 2. So, it is 3 cross 4. So, that is the matrix we are going to get for this. So, that is my matrix for the linear transformation corresponding to the basis B 1 and B 2. So, that is my answer because we are taking the linear transformation from P 3 to P 2. So, it is a dimension 4 and dimension 3. So, we are getting the matrix 3 by 4. Now, the same way we can define the another example. Suppose, I have a transformation T from the vector space U to the vector space U and let dimension of U is N. Then, suppose I take this transformation T of x is equal to x. So, now I if I want to write the corresponding linear uh, matrix corresponding to the transformation, then if from here you can see that it is like T x is x. So, I am having the transformation from this that is my x taking the transformation T. So, this is my T x, but that is also equal to x. So, what I am going to do is that I am going to write the matrix. So, and x is belongs to u. So, definitely my x will be x 1, x 2, x n dimension and this is also equal to x 1, x 2, x n and this one I can write in the standard form. So, I can write my x 1 as 1 0 0 0 x 2 0 1 0 0 0 and in the end I can get x n that is 0 0 1 
and from here I can write a matrix. So, this matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0 and in the end we will get 0, 0, 1 and if you see from here then this is equal to x 1, x 2, x n. So, this matrix if you see then this is identity matrix of order n cross n. So, and also we know that this transformation identity transformation. So, if we are writing the matrix corresponding to the standard basis then you can see that this identity matrix gives us the identity uh, matrix this identity linear transformation gives the identity matrix for this one. So, this way we can write the uh, matrix corresponding to the given transformation. Now, so after doing this one, the next question is that, so we are able to write the transform uh, matrix corresponding to the given linear transformation, can we do the another way? So, we want to do the converse of that one. So, we write down linear map associated with a matrix. So, now in this case we have a matrix A that is suppose of order m cross n and from there I want to find the linear transformation T from u to v. So, dimension of u will be n and dimension of v will be m. So, this way we want to write that how we can write these things. So, let us see that how we can write the linear trans transformation corres from the given matrix. So, let so let us we have a matrix. So, I have a matrix A that is made up of L y j's of order m cross n. Now, then we can define a linear map or linear transformation as. So, how I can define? So, I can define by T from u to v right. So, we can define the linear transformation T from u to v. So, now everything depends upon that which what are the basis we are going to take. So, if there is no basis then we can define that this is a standard basis. So, no problem, but let we have so, let us we have basis B 1. So, that is the basis we are taking that is U 1, U 2, U n. So, this is the basis of U and B 2. So, that is my V 1, V 2, V m. This is the basis of V and this is the basis of u. Now, I know that how we can define the linear transformation. So, these are the ordered basis. Ordered basis of u and v. Now, I, I can define so, now we can define the linear transformation like this T of I will take 
u1 so that will be equal to now this is the matrix corresponding matrix we have so this is the and i know that this matrix is made up of the coordinates so i know that my a is basically t of u1 and the coordinates of this one t of u2 coordinate this one and t of un the coordinates of this with respect to b2. So, this is I know that this is my a. So, it means that I have to write the first column. So, that first column will be alpha 1 1 it is v 1 plus alpha 2 1 v 2 alpha and then we are taking it m 1 v m because it is m numbers there. So, this is my first uh, image. So, this is the way we can write down. So, same way I can write t of my u n that is alpha n 1 v 1 plus alpha n 2 n 1 n this is 1 n v 1 plus alpha 2 n v 2 alpha m n and this way we can find out the given linear transformation corresponding to the basis b 1 and b 2. So, let us uh, take one example and I know that this is the basis these are the basis. So, here this t is unique it is uniquely determined from for corresponding to this basis. So, for example, let us take one example I have a uh, transformation. So, suppose I have a matrix A this matrix is given to me it is suppose 2 1 minus 2 1 it is minus 3 0 1 2 4 minus 1 0 minus 2. So, it is 4 cross 3. So, that matrix is given to me. Now, case 1 I want to write L t. So, write uh, linear transformation corresponding to a relative to standard basis. So, I have a standard basis then in that case I will just. So, from here I know that my transformation t will be from u to v where uh, my or maybe I can just write from here that t will be from v 3 to v 4. So, from here I can write that my matrix A taking the element from v 3 that is x 1 x 2 x 3 this will be equal to my t of x because x I am taking x 1 x 2 x 3 belongs to v 3 and if you write from here then I can write my a. So, image will come. So, I just multiply by x 1 x 2. So, you will find from here it will be 2 x 1 multiplying this by the first row. So, 2 x 1 minus 3 x 2 plus 4 x 3 this is the first component then x 1 minus x 3 then minus 2 x 1 plus x 2 and then 
x 1 plus 2 x 2 minus 2 x 3. So, that is the my linear transformation corresponding to the standard basis. Now, now the same linear transformation I want to write related to this basis B1 and B2. So, this is okay means we are able to write very easily the corresponding linear transformation for the with respect to the standard basis. Now, we want uh, to write the linear transformation corresponding to the basis B1 and B2. So, let me stop here today. So, in the today lecture we have discussed uh, various example based on that how we can find out the a matrix corresponding to the linear transformation with respect to the basis and then we define the converse of that one that we have a matrix and we want to find out the linear transformation corresponding to that one. So, in the next lecture we will show that how we can write the linear transformation corresponding to the basis the new basis B1 and B2 as we are going through this example. So, thanks for watching uh, thanks very much. Thank you.